Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Top 10's Net. In the video today, we're looking at the top 10 terrifying sea creatures that need their own horror movie. The surface of the Earth is 71% water. That water is home to some amazingly terrifying creatures. Some of these aquatic animals are rarely seen by humans and live in the murky depths of the ocean, while others live near the surface and are quite dangerous to us. What they all have in common is that they are all the stuff of nightmares. Number 10. Gulper Eel Gulper eels are found in tropical and temperate waters around the Earth at depths ranging from 165 feet to 1.8 miles. The eels have large mouths, which is where it gets its other name, pelican eels. Their large mouth allows the eels to swallow other animals, mostly crustaceans, even if the animal is bigger than the eel itself. The eels aren't some small creature either. They are usually about 30 inches long. While they look pretty intimidating, they aren't something you should ever worry about encountering because human sightings of them are pretty rare. Number 9. Dragonfish Stromidae is a family of fish that are better known as dragonfish. There are 290 species, many of which look terrifying. For example, the black dragonfish has a striking resemblance to the xenomorphs in the Alien franchise. Dragonfish are found in the oceans throughout the world, and one of their most notable features, which is found on most species, is its large mouth that's lined with large fangs. The good news is the dragonfish have fairly weak jaws that close slowly. Their fangs are used to hold large prey in place while the jaw closes. Some dragonfish have bioluminescent photophores, which are organs that glow, so they are often found in extremely deep water where light doesn't reach. So basically, don't worry about one if you're taking a dip in the ocean. If you do, well, you have bigger problems to worry about, like the extreme cold and your lungs collapsing. Number 8. Anglerfish National Geographic, who loves to show the beauty of the world, calls the anglerfish the ugliest animal in the world. And, well, we don't disagree with their assessments because anglerfish are pretty hideous animals. There are over 200 species of them, and they generally live in the deep waters of the Atlantic and Antarctic Oceans, sometimes at depths of up to a mile. In some species, the males and females look and act drastically different from one another. The females have a dorsal spine that sticks out over their head like a fishing rod, which is where they get their name. At the tip of the spine is a luminous organ, and this light lures prey close to their gigantic gigantic mouths. Their mouths are so big that they can swallow prey twice their size. Often females are no bigger than a foot long, but some species are up to 3.3 feet. The males, on the other hand, they're much smaller. They only grow to be a few inches long. So you might be thinking that this might make for some pretty awkward mating, and you'd be absolutely right. What happens is that the males bite the females. Over time, they fuse their faces to the female's body, and that is how he'll live out the rest of his life. When the female releases her eggs, the male releases his sperm. So not only are the anglerfish ugly, but they're also clingy. But we're sure they have great personalities. Just give them a chance. You might like them. Number 7. Sarcastic Fringehead Sarcastic fringeheads live in a depth range from 10 to 240 feet off the coasts of California. Usually, they live in rocky crevices and shells, and only their head is exposed. The sarcastic fringehead has two traits that would be horrifying in a neighbor or roommate. They are very territorial, and they can't see very well. If an animal or a human hand gets too close to their home, the fringehead will open its mouth really wide and expose its fangs, making it look a lot like the predator. If this doesn't scare away the potential predator, the fringe head will attack. Since they don't have good eyesight, they will attack anything that they feel threatened by. This includes animals that are much bigger than them, including humans. The fringe head also has one of the most unusual ways in the animal kingdom to settle territorial disputes. If a fringe head moves into an area where another fringe head is living, they mouth wrestle for the area. This involves them pressing their open mouths against one another, and the fish with the bigger mouth wins the territory. So if you think that you had to go through some hassle, while moving to a new home, you should be thankful that real estate deals among humans aren't done in the same way as the fringe heads. Well, that is, unless you have a gigantic mouth and love kissing strangers aggressively. Man, it's no wonder that Mick Jagger lives in such luxury. Number 6. Stargazer do you know someone in your life who doesn't like to wade into the water at the beach because they can't see the bottom and they don't want to touch any marine life? Well, do not tell them about the stargazer fish. There are 51 species of stargazers, and their most recognizable feature is that they have eyes on the top of their head. Another unique feature is that they bury themselves in the sand of the ocean floor and wait to ambush prey. Some species also have traits that trick prey into getting closer. This includes gills which discharge water which stir up the sand. 
friends. The stargazer's prey will think that it's a smaller creature that they eat. Then, once it moves in, the stargazer sucks in the prey. If the prospect of finding a grotesque face on the floor of the ocean staring up at you wasn't frightening enough, the stargazer also has venomous spines near its gills that can generate electric shocks that are about 50 volts. That means if you come across one, do not try to pick it up or step on it. The good news is, though, that you probably won't come across one because they live in deep parts of the ocean. However, some have been seen in ankle-deep water in Virginia Beach. Number 5. Alligator Gar there are seven known species of gar in the world, and the biggest one is the alligator gar. They are scaly fish that are six feet long and weigh up to 300 pounds. They have a long, flat mouth, similar to an alligator, hence the name, which is full of incredibly sharp teeth. They are found in lakes and bays in North and Central America. While they look vicious and are as big as a large man, there are no confirmed incidents of alligator gar attacking humans. However, they do pose another risk to humans besides biting. Their eggs are poisonous if they are injected. So if someone offers you alligator gar caviar at a party, you may want to pass. Number 4. Great Barracuda Great Barracudas are found in tropical waters throughout the world and are large fish that can be over 5 feet long and weigh over 100 pounds. They have two rows of razor-sharp teeth that they use to rip apart larger prey. Another notable trait that makes them frightening is that they move pretty fast. They can also reach speeds of over 35 miles per hour. For some perspective, the fastest human swimmer, Michael Phelps, only reaches speeds of about 4.4 miles per hour. Humans being attacked by Great Barracudas are incredibly rare, but it has been known to to happen. They are responsible for at least two deaths in the United States, one in 1947 and one in 1957. There was another attack in 1960 where a diver was bit twice and needed 31 stitches to close the wounds. However, beyond that, barracudas generally leave humans alone. We can only assume it's because they really appreciate Hart recording a bitching song about them. Number 3. Reef Stonefish Reef stonefish live in the Indo-Pacific Ocean, and they get their name because they have camouflage skin that makes them look like reefs of rocks. Often they are just over a foot long, but there are reports of monster ones about 20 inches long being found in the wild. Why the reef stonefish appears so high on this list is because they are considered the most poisonous fish in the world. The venom is transmitted by 13 spines in the dorsal fin, so people are usually stung when they accidentally step on one. Before the arrival of Europeans in Australia, there were several deaths caused by the fish. An anti-venom was developed in 1959, so no deaths have occurred since then. However, a dozen people are stung every year, and the stings are quite painful. The venom has both cardiovascular and neuromuscular toxins, meaning it will affect your muscular and cardiovascular system. Supposedly, the pain is immediate and intense. Some people have asked for limbs to be amputated because the pain got so bad. One victim said of it, I got spiked on the finger by a stonefish in Australia. Never mind a bee sting, imagine having each knuckle, then the wrist, elbow, and shoulder being hit in turn with a sledgehammer over the course of about an hour. Then, about an hour later, imagine taking a real kicking to both kidneys for about 45 minutes so that you couldn't stand or straighten up. I was late 20s, pretty fit physically, and this was the tiniest of nicks. Got sensation back to my finger after a few days, but had recurrent kidney pains periodically for several years afterwards. In case that story didn't make it perfectly clear, if you're in the waters or reefs of Australia, do watch where you step. Number 2. Goliath Tigerfish with a name that contains the words Goliath and Tiger, you have to know that the Goliath tigerfish is a sea creature that you do not want to mess with. The fish is found in several rivers in Africa, and according to locals, they are the only fish that aren't afraid of crocodiles. Supposedly, they even take bites out of them. The biggest one ever found was 5 feet long and 154 pounds, but it's believed that there are larger ones out there in the wild. They have 32 jagged, razor-sharp teeth that are up to an inch long, and when they bite, they can cut cleanly through prey. They also move quickly and are one of the fastest fish in the rivers. Besides their speed, they have other senses that help make them fierce hunters. They can sense vibrations in the water, and they have excellent eyesight. They find prey in turbulent waters, and since they are strong swimmers, they simply eat the weaker fish that are struggling with the current. Encountering one Goliath tigerfish sounds terrifying enough, but it's even worse because they travel in packs. Yes, we know that fish travel in schools, but we think it's just cooler when we say that tigerfish travel in packs. There are several stories of people being attacked by Goliath tigerfish, leaving people without fingers, and in one case, a woman's Achilles was cut. Another story involves people disappearing after falling off a riverboat. However, none of these attacks have ever been confirmed. Number 1. Geographic Cone Snail 
Geographic cone snails are probably the least intimidating looking sea creature in this video, but they are probably the most dangerous. They are found in the reefs of the Indo Pacific and sport six inch shells that have an intricate brown and white pattern. The snails have teeth, which they fire off like harpoons, and are full of a powerful venom called conotoxin. Once a fish is hit, it becomes instantly paralyzed. The venom is also quite harmful to humans, and there is no anti venom. What happens is that the venom spreads, paralyzing the body, including the diaphragm, which stops the person's breathing. The only treatment for someone stung by a geographic cone snail is to keep them alive and wait for the venom to leave their body. Sometimes this can take several hours, or indeed it can take several weeks. Unfortunately, not everyone lasts that long. In fact, geographic cone snails are responsible for dozens of deaths over the past century. What's interesting about the venom is that it's a unique combination of compounds, and there are proteins in it that may be incredibly effective in painkilling drugs. Studies have shown that it can be 10,000 times is more potent than morphine and doesn't have any of morphine's side effects. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that like button below and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also, if you enjoyed this video, why not check out some of our videos from the archives? They are on the screen to the right of me now. And as always, thanks for watching.